The other way to produce labels in 12D is to use a label map file. First thing what the label map file does is you either need to create a label map file which sets up the styles and then you need to apply this label map file. Once you have created the label map file, you can use this on any of your jobs and apply labels to your data. I'm going to close the last label inverticy panel that we had open and I'm going to clean, clean out our model nat labels and I'm going to create them now using a label map file. So I'm just going to make sure the model's empty. I've got nothing in its empty model now. So to create a label map file, you need to go to File I.O., go down to Label Map Files, and go to Create slash Edit if you're going to create one from scratch. Again, it works like the, the normal map file, as we've got a header, so I'm going to work from the left down, and you can write a little description about who created the map file and any changes or amendments that happen with the dates. So it's like a log, you can log what changes have taken place inside this label map file. And then you've got a whole bunch of different options as we work down. So vertex text data, so you can label the vertex text data, any point or string that has any um, vertices in it and has any dart like text attached to it, we can label that and we fill out these panels in here. Same thing goes for a point ID. If you want to label the point IDs, you fill out this da the data in the columns here. Same with the string names. We can do the same thing here and fill out the panel like this and then the string names will be displayed. And you can do the same to attach symbols to data and you can do the same for the attributes. We're going to do what we did before and label the Z values or the heights of the natural surface points that we collected in the field. And to do this, we need to go to the height text data. So we go to this tab to uh, display any heights inside 12D using a label map file. So the first thing we need to do is what was the code we used down in the field of these natural surface spot heights. And the easiest way to do that is to go do a string inquire. So an F2, pick a, a point and you can see the name of the string is NS. So that was the code we used in the field. So I'm gonna type in NS here. The next panel we need to fill out is the textile data. So just double left click inside this panel. And this brings up what type of textile do we want to use to display these labels. And this time I might choose ISO 1 center. And then we can go through here and edit this. So if we don't want the color to be red, we just simply change it. So I'm going to make it magenta. We could make the text units if you don't want world text. So one meter is one meter in a world scale. If we want to go down, we can make it a paper scale. And we can, we can change all sorts of things like that. We can change the height. So if we want to change the actual height of the text, we can make it bigger by making it double the size and put a two there, or you can half the size and make it 0.5. In this case, I might just make it two. It might be really big, but we can easily change this later. The offset. So each of these vertices that were picked up as natural surface shots, this is the distance left to right that will be offset from these points. So in this case, I might make the offset 0.25 and slightly offset it to the right. And I might do the same for the ray. So I'm going to lift the actual labels above these natural surface spot heights. This basically makes sure you can see the actual vertice and it's not covered with a label. Justification is where you want the insertion point of the text. And it's always the bottom left of the text. So in this case, um, if I did middle center, the text will be over the middle of this natural surface spot height. I don't want that. So I might make it bottom left. And an angle, I might make it 45 degrees. So the text will now be produced on a, on a 45 degree angle. And slant is basically the italics. So the way slant works is if you had 30 degrees in here, zero is directly up the page and it will put an angle in of 30 degrees from zero being north around 30 degrees clockwise and sort of slant the text on that angle. I'm gonna leave it at zero. X factor, I'm gonna leave it one and X factor is, is basically the width or the stretch. So if it's left that one, it's not stretched at all. If you made it two, it'd be stretched twice as much. If you made it 0.5, it'd be compacted in half as much. So I'm just gonna leave it as one and set that, finish. The width, if you if you wanted to add an extra width to it, you could, 
which is just the X factor. I'm not worried about that. Precision is the number of decimal places and the RLs or the heights are presented to three decimal places. So I put a three in here. You could also have a, a prefix or a suffix if you want. So you might, because these are heights, you might have a prefix of RL for reduced level as surveyors like to do. You don't need to do that, but it's, you can always have these, those prefix and suffix in there. Label name, we're gonna call the label name height text. So it's gonna put in a label called height text. And you could also have a comment in here if, if you really wanted to, uh, RL of spot heights. Just all the comment is is just a description of what you are trying to display. So other, other people in your company can grab this label map file and basically know what's going on. So once we're happy with, happy with this label map file, we need to save it. And to do that, we go up to where it says label map file and just type a name in. So I'm gonna call this Nat, might call it natural surface labels, just so we know what it is. Press enter after it, and it saves it in an XML format with the extension dot labels. Once we're happy with this, we can go right, click on right and right, saves the file. Before you do that, you could have also went to browse and browse where to save it if you want to save it in a different location. So I've written the file out and now what we need to do is we need to actually apply this label map file. If I finish this panel and go back into it, so file IO, label map files, create edit. And as you can see, if I go back into it, all that data is lost. So what we need to do is basically read in that map file we just created. And to read in a, map, a label map file, you just go into the folder icon and it should be there in your list. If it's not there in the list, you might need to go to browse and look for it, but you just go into there, select it from your list and select read, and this will read in the data. So I'm gonna finish on this panel now, and now we're gonna use that map file and, and apply it to the, the model and create these labels.